hi guys in this video we're gonna start styling our components but uh, first of all we're gonna get the uh, image and we're gonna also describe our coronavirus cases so I have an API country flags API in here you can get uh, uh, source or the link and we it has used the BE that's for the country code that's why I have saved the country code in our uh, project so I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to link in in our description for the link now in our project in our project in here I'm just gonna in country.js I'm just gonna paste it in here but as you know this is a dynamic because we don't have a hard-coded country code so that's why we have to get the dynamically now in here it will be string interpolation because in here I'm going to use dollar sign and use the props and from props we have used states and we're gonna use what we're gonna use a country code yeah right one so I'm going to use the country code in here now again it gives some error that's because like it doesn't write because we have to give alt in here and in here you can give the country name as a alternate yeah just give it the alternate yeah so I'm going to use props dot states dot country now if we just save it and go to our project ah, you can see that we got the flag now next what now we have to give just change into s2 and what we have to do next we have to give a new div in which we have the description and what we want the what are the description that we want so in here what we want we want the active cases that case okay now in here we're gonna use p tag and use a dollar sign and the curly braces such that i'm going to inject some values from the props now again i'm going to use a string interpolation and use like this active and use colon and just write dollar sign and use what props dot states dot active yeah that's what it is so i'm just going to copy it and just after that we're gonna just change it wherever it's needed well all places it's needed that's why now in here what we know we want recovered so just gonna give recovered and he, here we are gonna give recovered and in in here we're gonna give deaths in here we're gonna give again deaths now in here we're gonna give confirmed well i have to write some hard coded with it now just give in here now that's it yeah that's what we want yeah we got the all the things right now the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna just uh, styling our project now in our app.js here i have app so i'm just going to remove this whole bunch of classes that we don't need now in here i'm just gonna use i'm just gonna use this styling in here you can see that we have got width of 95 percent i have used display flex and all the elements will be in column and it will be all in center uh, with respect to the 95 percent width 
and all the element will be align center means it will be at the center side now if we just save it you can see mm, right now it's not look good was now that's all in app.css is done in what we need in our country list we're gonna first of all we're gonna create one new file and its name will be country list dot css and in here in import we're gonna import this css by using country list dot css and in here i'm just going to use class name give the country list class name i have given its name i'm just going to copy it oh just man what i have done i'm just going to copy this text now in here just i'm going to copy paste uh, css in so this is what i have copied this is the grid display and the template will be column in grid template column this is one very helpful uh, syntax you can say and i want i want to recommend that you have you to the uh, to do this because this is what actual developer do now i have used a grid gap of one uh, uh, rem and width is 100 percent such that it will take whole place of width 95 percent now if we just look into here yeah that's something yeah it's good yeah it's responsive also you can see now again uh, more things to see now this is complete the country list is complete now other is uh, what i'm going to do is in country in country i'm going to create one new css file country.css and in country.js in vs code if it, if you are new you can use country like this such that you can see also the code in here and also see the css file and this is the button is here for you to split the editor now in here i'm just going to import country dot css and i'm going to use class name in here say the name country then there is one more class that i'm going to use in here and that's called it is describe now i'm just going to save it and in here i'm just gonna use dot country there this is what i have copied yeah just a sec yeah this is what i have copied now these are all the css that we need for the project completion now you can see the wall does not look good well we have the font well we are gonna change the font in the later video for now you can see this is what our um, project looks like so this half is done in the next video we are gonna create our own search box such that we can use this search box in any place in any project and yeah that's all thanks